today I'm going to be showing you my pamper routine. Life gets a little crazy, so this is what I like to do pretty frequently to wind down from the day. I'm wearing this robe from Victoria's Secret, and I'm actually going to be putting my hair up in a bun because I don't want it to get wet. I hate going to bed with wet hair. Tucking in the flyaways, gotta stay fab always. I'm gonna be using a makeup wipe to take off my makeup. I do have some falsies on, so I'm gonna take those off first. off my eyeshadow with a makeup wipe and I'm gonna be leaving my lashes alone because I like to use the Clinique take the day off balm for my mascara I find this is the most gentle and efficient way to take off mascara because you aren't rubbing the lashes too much and they are falling out plus I struggle with having dry sense of eyelids so I try not to use the wipes too much on my eyelids because it tends to burn <laughs> I'm just wiping off the rest of the makeup on my face before I cleanse it. I'm using the Clarisonic and Purity Face Wash by Philosophy. This is such a gentle face wash for sensitive skin. I have been using this for years. And what's a pamper routine without a mask? Now that my makeup is off and face is cleansed, I am going to be using the Irish More Mud from Peter Thomas Roth. I really love this brand for this face mask in particular and their water drenched moisturizer. I'm just applying this liberally all over my face. This mask really helps get rid of dirt, oil, and impurities. I always notice a huge difference after using this mask, so I try to use it pretty frequently. bubble bath with lavender essential oils to help calm down and relax. I really enjoy using the lavender scent because I really feel like I notice a huge difference when I do use it and just like feeling tired afterwards and like able to fall asleep easier and it really just like calms my mind because a toddler can get a little crazy. After I spend some time relaxing, I want to exfoliate my body and get any excess tan off and all of the dead skin cells before I shave. I love to use the exfoliating gloves along with an exfoliating scrub because the texture of the scrub on my hand kind of grosses me out. 
I've used this sugar scrub in Tropical Mango for probably five years now, and the stuff smells incredible. Like, I really wish I could eat this, not gonna lie. Since it is summer and I'm always wearing sandals, smooth feet is a must. I haven't been to the nail salon yet since before quarantine, so I got a little foot scrubber from Walgreens and I really love this thing. Next I'm going to shave and instead of using shaving cream, I use this Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash and it works so well. The consistency of this body wash seriously feels like a thick creamy lotion but also lathers up and I've been doing this for years also, probably like 5-6 years and I feel like it works perfect as a shaving cream and lasts 100 times longer than a bottle of shaving cream would ever last. And I actually don't care for this scent in particular as much. My favorite is the purple bottle and the scent Sweet Cream and Peony. And I do use a men's razor because, in my opinion, I think they last longer and always seem to give a better and closer shave. Now that I'm out of the bath, it's time to wash off the face mask. I use a hot wash cloth to get it all off easily and open up my pores to really get everything out. And then I follow up with using super cold water to close my pores. sure I'm always using a gentle dabbing motion so that I'm not too harsh with my skin. Next I'm going in with toner from Ole Henriksen. It's called Glow 2O. It's a dark spot toner and I use this to help even out my skin tone from any dark spots or sunspots and I just gently dab this all over my face and then follow up with the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Serum. This is a sample size that I got with one of my Sephora orders and I've been using it for a few weeks now. I really feel like I'm seeing a difference since I've been using it and usually I use the Kylie Skin Vitamin C Serum. I just put one pump onto my fingertips and pat it into my skin. moisturizer I use this water drench by Peter Thomas Roth that I had mentioned earlier in the video I'm absolutely obsessed with this product because I have never used a moisturizer that has felt like this before it is so thin and lightweight but incredibly moisturizing and you only need the tiniest dot of it to get your entire face it's so slippery and just melts in your skin leaving it feeling so healthy and refreshed and I would highly recommend this product. It's so perfect under makeup because it isn't thick and oily feeling and it really just soaks up into your skin pretty quickly. You 
can never forget to moisturize your neck and chest because those are the areas that are easily forgotten but the first to show your age. I'm using the Kylie Skin Eye Cream. I just use a tiny, tiny bit under my eyes and gently dab it into the skin. I don't use too much of it on my eyelids though because they are so sensitive and just like everything else, it burns a little bit. So I just always have to be really careful. I'm finishing up my pamper routine with the best product of them all, my ride or die holy grail Laneige lip mask. This lip mask does wonders. I put it on liberally and when I wake up it's actually still on my lips which I've never had that with any other lip mask. Then I just wipe off the excess and it leaves my lips feeling like brand new, baby smooth. It also creates a smooth surface to apply liquid lipstick, which everyone knows that tends to be drying. So if you do not properly moisturize lips before it, it will make your lips look crusty. It just isn't a good look. So yeah, that is the end of my pamper routine. I hope you guys liked it. This always helps me wind down from a stressful day with a little toddler. <laughs> Let me know if you guys try out any of the products I use. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on them. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!